All right, everybody, this video is going to be for 2D animation, and we're going to create a cartoon character using After Effects. Uh, we're going to build a cartoon character like a puppet, like a cutout puppet, using individual drawings and individual uh, uh, setup where I'm going to use parenting heavily in order to build, um, uh, build this character. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have your character built into different parts. So for instance, I have individual pictures for the body, a foot, the head, uh, an arm, an upper leg or upper arm. I usually just duplicate these and use them for an upper arm and lower arm. I have different mouth shapes, okay, different mouth shapes going on. And I have, uh, if you want, different eyes, different eye shapes. So anyway, before you do this part, you got to have a whole lot of different, uh, different um, uh, drawings done. They're all individual, okay? And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to go into After Effects. In After Effects, you're going to be working within a composition. But over here, I have all those images already brought in. So I have the body and the foot and the head and all of these are already brought in and organized. I have my body, my eyes, my hands, and my mouth. Now first of all I'm just going to be building my individual character's body structure. Each one of those objects is going to be brought in. I have to work with its anchor point to make sure that the body or the arm all pivot at the right position. And so I'll be adjusting that and I will be putting the, the character together. Uh, I'm also going to be utilizing null objects to control uh, the whole puppet. Uh, and so in the end, I will have a hierarchical uh, relationship of different images that make this character work. In a second video, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, a nested composition that actually allows you to access different eye uh, shapes so he can blink, he can, you, can, you can pull up different eyes and for the same concept for different mouth parts. But for now we're just going to build the basic character. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the body. So I'm going to take my, my drawing uh, and I'm going to bring it in and I have my body. Now one of the things you'll notice is that the body is bigger so I'm going to scale this down a little bit to fit within my composition and I might scale it down to say about 50% I'll see what 50% is going to be too small so I'm going to go 30% so 30% is going to work now my character is just is white and he is all white and uh, so that works well on a back black background now I have to think about one thing I'm going to double click go into my layer I can see my drawing with my with my white outline and I need to move the anchor point to the place where I want him to pivot since this is his upper body this is his neck this is his pelvis region I want him to move at this point. So if he bends over, he's going to bend over uh, down here in his, at his pelvis region. So I'm going to move the anchor point to that position. I'm going to close this layer level. So that gives me my character right here. The anchor point is there. That's very important right now because when I want him to bend, I need him to bend uh, over. So I'm going to leave, uh, I'm going to leave this up here. I'm going to make a solid layer as my actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my composition settings and I'm going to change the background to kind of a gray something that takes the glare off the screen but I can still see all my lines and everything like that so when I go back to here it's gray and not black and not white okay so here's my care first part is his bot the body is here and I have it labeled already the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring his head up I'm going to take his head I'm going to put it down here I'm going to put it on the top and since this was scaled down to 30, I'm going to scale this down to 30. All these objects are going to be scaled down. I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to move the anchor point to where I think his head should pivot. And Johnny's head pivots right about here. I'm going to close that and I'm going to move that up to the neck por portion. So wherever that is, that's the place it's going to pivot. So right about there is where I want it. Okay, so I have his head in place, I have his body in place. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want the head to move with the body, but I'm going to parent it later, but just to make sure that you are aware, I can parent the head to the body so that if I move the body, for instance, if I rotate the body now, 
the head is going to follow along right along with it so this idea of parenting so if he was to bend over what's nice is I still have the head I'm gonna hit R to bring up a rotation and I can still rotate the head it's still gonna pivot there as a matter of fact if he needs to look around I'll make sure that pivot so I can always just want to make sure that I am uh, okay with where I've placed that and I might just bring it down actually I'm gonna double click on that I'm gonna move that over just a little bit to there or I can do it like this I'm gonna go down to my transform tools and bring up my anchor point and position it a little bit over here and maybe a little bit more into this position and then I can move it like so when I rotate it and I'm gonna move it over so you've got to just kind of position things where where it works best alright so I'm gonna say that that is that is okay so his head when he rotates his head if he looks down I don't want that little black line to be showing so I'm gonna do something like this okay just wanna make sure I'm hiding all those pivot points there we go that's good so that'll work so there we go alright so there's his head now his head and his body I'm gonna twirl that up I'm gonna bring down an upper uh, this is called an upper leg I'm gonna bring it down now how you arrange these can get to be a little uh, you just gotta keep track of it and I'll start to color code these things in a little bit so let's say that this is a leg so I'm gonna put a leg here and also I need to move this is the upper leg so the upper leg pivot point is going to be right there so I have the upper leg I'm gonna lock out these other layers so I can easily grab the one that I want and I'm gonna just rotate that position a little bit alright and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna have to label this so I'm gonna select my layer hit enter uh, left leg upper I'm going to call it leg. This is his right leg. Uh, I don't want too many, so I'm going to have to say RT so I know it's right and up. So you want to make it so that you can leg, right, up. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it because I'm kind of just, mm, I'm just keeping the same thing. And I'm going to move that down to there and I'm going to call this leg right low so that's the lower leg okay so I have uh, my leg right up my leg lower leg and I gotta keep this organized so that it works okay and I wanna rotate that a little bit and then I'm gonna I can parent that so my lower legs parent is going to be the upper leg so I might want to rearrange the way these look just to help me keep things so upper this one is going to be a child of the upper leg right leg up so if the upper leg moves uh, the lower leg is going to move with it okay so I have that now I'm going to add the foot and I'm going to bring the foot down and I'm going to put it in the hierarchy below this. I've got to scale it to 30%. And I need to double click on it and move the anchor point down to the anchor, uh, the ankle. And I need to position that down right about there. So now I have um, my leg. This is a foot. I'm going to select it, hit enter, and I'm going to change the name foot under foot underscore right all right now uh, this is a child this foot is a child of the lower leg right leg low so that is that so now if I move the upper leg the whole thing moves but I can still position and rotate the lower leg and I can still rotate the hit R I can still rotate the foot too okay so all of that is working quite nicely so if I were to select these and rotate all of these at the same time it's pretty cool alright 
So I have I have the ability then to reset my characters. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. Oops, not quite like that. Rotate just the upper leg and rotate the foot a little bit. Make him look like he's standing on something. All right, so there we go. Now I have all of these legs already set up. If I grab them, all three, control duplicate, move them all down like this. Now I have a complete duplicate of all of these legs. Oh, it looks like I didn't get the upper leg for some reason. He didn't move with it. Oh, it's stuck. So let me go back and Oh, it's not it's just not visible. Let me undo that really fast. Hopefully I'm trying to grab these guys right leg left leg foot grab them all grab them all control duplicate bring them all down here these guys here if I select these I'm gonna change their colors from purple to something that stands out so these are my right my right legs these are gonna be my left legs so I'll need to rename these. So I'll say LFT, click it, hit enter, LFT, and then click it, hit enter, LFT. So a lot of this, so if I select these here, I don't want them to have any parents at all right now. I'm just going to move them over. there we go so I have this kind of moved over what I can do with the foot is I can simply uh, I can go into my scale attribute if I want to uncheck it and turn this into a, a negative not negative 3000 just negative 30 percent uh, in the foot here. Oh. There we go. Negative 30. So I kind of flipped it around there. I'm going to lock it back. And I have, I don't have any parenting set up, so that's okay. My upper leg is still here. And I, I need to move it kind of back to this section. I might rotate it a little bit to reposition it. And I'll move my left leg upper and grab my left foot and I can move it over slightly. I can see the anchor point there. There we go. And I can tweak it as much as I need to. So I have it I need to parent my left foot to my lower leg so I need to make sure I'm doing the right thing my left uh, here's my left foot to my lower leg and my left lower leg to my upper all right and I haven't parented my left legs to anything yet I'll get to that in just a little bit so so far um, I have these this is like it's working out so far so hopefully you're following along it's a lot of little parts but they all got to kind of work together so I've got my lower leg uh, I will change let's change this to a warm a nice warm color maybe a red or something so I can tell the difference I've got my head up there I got it locked out so everything here so let's go ahead and add an arm and so up at the top here, I'll go ahead and bring an upper arm down. And I'm going to do the same exact thing uh, for my upper arm. Scale, 30%. I want to double click on it and move this down to the, uh, the shoulder region. And I'll need to move this out here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a rotation so I can get it off his body. Position this in the shoulder part so I'm going to, have to be right about there so there's my 
I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to call it arm. Got to keep it short. Arm, what it is, then where it is, it's his left arm, LFT, and then uh, arm left, and then what it is, it's his upper arm, so up. Got to keep it short so we can read it over here. If it's all laid out too long, you'll never be able to grab it uh, very quickly. So I have my arm. It's what it is. It's an arm. It's the left arm, and it's the upper, uh, because you'll always want to know kind of which arm it is. And so now I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to lock this one so I can just grab the duplicate. Oops, not the head. Well, that's why I lock a lot of these things out. Just quickly grab and drag. I'm going to move this down to the elbow, right about there. And this becomes the arm left low. All right. So I have his lower arm now. I'm going to give it a little bit of a rotation. And I'm going to grab the hand. Okay. I'm going to grab. I have different shapes for my hands, but I just have kind of a basic. Uh, hand, uh, a basic drawing for the hand, scale it down, double click on it, move the anchor point to the position that I want, move the hand to the position where it needs to go, right there at the base of it, and I have to have a hierarchy, so I have my hand parented to the arm, left lower arm, and the lower arm is parented to the arm upper arm and the upper arm is parented to the body. Mm -hmm. So if I move the body, which happens to be down here, the arm is going to stay with it. Let me do it again. But if I move the hand, it's all going to rotate. So I'm really, I'm moving rotation. Uh, on the arms and so if I want to rotate hit the R key I can rotate the leg what I want to do is rotate the arm upper arm hit the rotation key so there we go so I can move that like so I'm gonna move the body back I like to build my characters kind of in position so I'm gonna quickly go through the uh, the other arm again and I'm just going to uh, lock these guys and I'm gonna quickly just bring down another set of arms and upper arm this is gonna be the upper arm I'm gonna se select my layer hit enter so this is arm what arm is it it's the right arm and I capitalize it and it's the upper part of the uh, arm. So arm right. And again, scale it down 30% in this case. Yours it might be different. Move the anchor point to the shoulder. And move the shoulder to the position I want it and give it a rotation to kind of position it in my character here. I'm going to kind of build it like that. I'm going to duplicate it. I don't do any parenting until the end. If I was to parent that, it would make me a little confused. So I'm going to right arm up, hit enter, change that to right arm low. Okay. And, and then I'm going to move it down to the elbow region to get close to kind of see where it's at here, like so. All right, and then I will bring in my hand and bring it down. I keep it, I'm going to reposit, so I want my upper, then lower, and then move my upper up, then my low, and then my hand. So this needs to be called, this is hand underscore, uh, what, what am I on? Right. And so I actually need to change this one to hand underscore LFT. All right. 
I gotta keep everything organized. So here we go. I'm gonna uncheck that hand. I need to scale it down 30%. I need to double click on it and move the anchor point to its anchor position. Make sure that I actually have it in the right spot. Move that to the position that I want. And actually, it looks like I need to flip it. So I'm going to do a negative x, negative 30. I'm going to scale it in negative 30, which gives me basically an inverted hand. I flip it in the z-axis. Recheck that. And then I will parent, making sure that that's in the right spot. Yeah, it looks good. Then I will parent my hand to my. What's nice is if I stack it right, it goes fairly easy in the order. I parent it to my lower arm. My right arm, lower arm is going to be parented to my upper arm. And my upper arm is going to be parented to the body. All right, so if I was to move the body, the upper parts of the body need will be moving. Now, I see that I want to move my whole body down a little bit or I could move my legs up but it's a little easier to just move the body down it's about like that so when it mm, rotates I get something like this and I want to put my body on top of my legs but not on top of my arms there we go so anyway this takes this part takes a little tweaking to get to be the, the way that you want. So I would just continue to move this around a little bit until I kind of had the look that I wanted. And then I see that my upper arm needs to be moved over just a little bit like so. All right. So just to kind of finish off the look, I'm going to add on top of the head. So I have the head layer here. I'm going to add in a mouth and a hand sh uh, shape. So I have different base. So I have like what I call a base shape for the mouth right now. Actually, yeah, just to make the character look right, I'm going to replace this because I'm going to show you a different method uh, for doing mouths and that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm going to move the anchor point. I don't necessarily have to because I'm going to replace this, but just so that you can see it, his mouth goes over here like this. And his eyes, his eyes, angry, blink, main eyes, his main eyes or his sad eyes, uh, his eyes go on top of that and I will scale that down to 30%. And I will move my anchor point quickly just to the back of the eye here. And I will move that up to his position. So there's Johnny. And I need to parent that then to the head. So the parent of the mouth will be the head and the parent of the eyes will be the head. So then essentially I need to test after once I get the character built, I will need to test it out and make sure that he uh, he works. Okay. The last thing I want to do is kind of make an overall control for the character. So what I haven't done is parented the legs to anything, the upper legs, to, and I don't have a master control. So this is what I'm going to do. I want one master control over everything that allows me to move the character with one control. That's called a null object. So this is what I want. I'm going to go up to my layers and I'm going to create what's called a null object. The null object is essentially, I'm going to lock everything out so I can't accidentally select it. The null object is essentially a point in space, a, a control point. It's basically just a location. But what it does is it allows us to it allows us to uh, use that location to control other things. So I can group lots of things to this and move a series of things together. Well, in this particular case, I want to to have um, the legs 
parented to this. So I'm going to name this null. This is this is master control, and that's just going to allow me to move the entire puppet. But then I still have its independence. So here's what I'm going to do: the body, the body is going to be a child of the master control. So I'll go to my body layer. I'll say the master control controls the body. And what that means is that if I move the master control, I'm moving all of those parts, but I don't and I can still bend and move my character around. So for instance, I can still move the body. I can still bend him independently and I can still move him around by his controls and I'm going to use the master control here <coughs> for the upper legs so the right the left the leg right upper will be parented to the master control and the leg left up will be a child of the master the control so that way I can bend my character at the waist and his legs won't flip so I can still do this but then I can still move my character however wherever I want by controlling the master control and so that gives me a little bit more flexibility in where and where I position him and how he can and how he moves alright so that's the basic setup of our puppet and I'm going to stop right there so that you can build at least your puppet uh, to this position where you have him and he's ready to go, uh, essentially. But you still need to go through, test all the parts, all the rotations. I've still got to make sure that the when he rotates at the hips, I don't expose his his the tops of his legs. So I still need to, to change uh, some of those things so that I'm happy with the rotations and all of that. Alright, so I will tweak my puppet and you can tweak your puppet and get it ready. And that's where I'm going to stop right now.